It was a time of confusion and loss for Sarah. In her community, everyone seemed to conspire against her. Despite her best efforts, her neighbors were making her life miserable. Initially, she was perplexed by a phone call. There was something on the other end that didn't make sense to her, and she didn't know what to do. Sarah's workflow was interrupted by the sound of the ringing phone in the hospital. She reached for the receiver and pressed it to her ear with a sigh. Sarah struggled to understand what was being said due to the hoarse, straining voice on the other end. Sarah felt an ominous feeling as she heard the message your kid is stuck outside. Can you please let them in? Sarah was hit by the words like a ton of bricks. She didn't have any children. The thought of what was happening caused her heart to race. What was going on outside her property? Could it have been a prank? In contemplation of the unknown, she felt a shiver run down her spine. Someone had insisted on Sarah having a child, which she found unsettling. It was then that she began to consider the truth. Deep down, however, she couldn't shake the feeling that something more sinister was going on, even though she thought it was just a prank played by some mischievous kid. She was haunted by the possibility that the allegations might be true, despite her efforts to convince herself otherwise. She never imagined that the reality would be as unsettling as it turned out to be. She felt fear and uncertainty as she grappled with this disturbing development. It was difficult for her to know what to do. Even though Sarah hoped that she wouldn't have to deal with the issue of a child again, it soon became apparent that things wouldn't change anytime soon. Her expectations were low. She received the same call a week later about a boy outside her house. It was a frustrating moment for Sarah this time. Her husband seemed as clueless about it as she was when she told him about it. There was something amiss. The problem would not disappear anytime soon, Sarah knew. Despite making a plan, she didn't act fast enough to figure things out. She expected to receive the call again a week later, on the same weekday. The fact that it didn't come pleasantly surprised her. When she got home, however, she wasn't expecting what she had in store for her. Sarah saw two child services workers when she got home. This was getting out of hand. According to her, she and her husband don't have children. After much convincing, they left, but now Sarah is investigating on her own. With her porch cameras set up, she knew exactly what was going on every week. Her heart would be torn apart by the truth she thought she was ready for. A little investigation, however, revealed that there was nothing but misery behind everything. Her world would crumble around her when she discovered something. She dreamed of helping people when she was a child. As a result of her hard work in school, she decided to pursue a nursing career. After graduating from high school, she finally achieved her dreams. It was only the beginning of her good fortune. A wonderful man came into Sarah's life while she was studying medicine. Just one year after becoming a nurse, the pair got married. He promised to treat her well and was an amazing husband. The troubles in paradise would begin on a day like any other. Until now, the couple had lived in the quiet suburban neighborhood for a few years without any problems. Sarah could still remember the day she walked into her new house Jason blindfolded her the first time he brought her there. Sarah even managed to transfer and become a nurse at the local hospital. Even their neighbors were extremely friendly. Jason worked in construction and had odd hours. Some days he'd come home at noon others, he would be working late into the night. Even if the couple didn't get to see each other all too often, Sarah knew their love was stronger than any distance between them. However, she had no idea that their days were numbered. Sarah didn't know it yet but she was going to get numerous complaints from her neighbors about a child waiting outside her door every day. It was a day like any other. Sarah spent long days on shift at the hospital, helping those who needed it. She would work double shifts when they needed the extra hands. Even if it tired her out, the most important thing was that she was helping people. But the woman didn't know that her empathy and long shifts were about to be taken advantage of on a big day. While she wasn't home, something unthinkable was happening on her property. Sarah was confused and a little worried. She and her husband had no children and neither did any of their close family or friends. But she had no idea that the truth was darker than she could ever have thought. She told everyone that there was no child, but the complaints continued. 
things would only escalate when Sarah returned home from work. She found two social workers waiting for her at the door. They had received a report of a child being neglected and were there to check on the situation. Tears streamed down her face from frustration. What was going on? Why did people insist she had a child? She allowed them to search her home and even offered to take a drug test to clear her name, but the child was nowhere to be found. The complaints continued and Sarah began to launch her own investigation. She spoke to her neighbors and even put up flyers around the neighborhood asking for information about the child. Just a day or two after putting up the flyers, Sarah got an unexpected call. It was an anonymous person who just told her to look closer at her house while she was away. They quickly hung up afterward. Sarah felt a shiver up her spine. Was something malignant going on at her home? She rushed to a security store close by and asked for a simple surveillance system she could access on her phone. She didn't even have time to consult her husband or check the price. Sarah just swiped her card and left. Thankfully, she was handy herself and installed the tiny camera to watch her front porch, but she had no idea how it would ruin her life. After the installations were made, the camera was barely visible. No one would notice the new addition, which meant she could find out what was really going on in front of her property every day. Sarah went to work the next day and started her long shift. She was so busy that she barely had time to check the footage until much later that night, but what she would see would break her heart. After her shift was finally over, Sarah had enough time to check the footage. She couldn't wait any longer and check the footage while in her car. What was the already anxious woman about to find? It started with a car pulling up to the house that she had never seen before. She watched as the car parked on the sidewalk close to the house. Then she saw the passenger door open and a little child get out. The boy seemed lost and not sure what to do. But this was only the start of the truth. She couldn't believe it. The child was real. She felt vindicated, but she wasn't out of the woods yet. She had to watch everything else unravel as she stared down at her phone. It was going to become so much more terrible in just a few seconds. Eventually, the driver's side door opened and a high heel clicked onto the ground. Was this the boy's mother? What was she doing leaving her kid on Sarah's property? She was about to find out the truth. The woman stepped out of her car and closed it shut before locking it. At first, Sarah felt anger course through her system. She started to see the picture clearly. The woman looked around as if to make sure no one was looking before heading for Sarah's property. Then Sarah saw the nail in the coffin. She realized that she saw Jason's car in the driveway. It must have been a day that he was home. He wasn't capable of doing such a horrendous act, was he? Tears streamed down her face as she realized what was going on. The woman walked to the front door with her child and sat him down on the steps of the porch. Even though he looked lost a second ago, now he was holding something in his hands, a small handheld console. How could she leave him all alone like this? But the truth was worse than she thought. The boy was entertained with his games while the mother did her business. Sarah was stunned at what came next, it was unforgivable. The woman turned on her heel and cut through the property line to the house next to Sarah's. The camera could just see her ring the doorbell and go in. Sarah didn't understand what was going on, but she knew what she had to do. Sarah was glued to her phone, but she didn't understand what was going on. She had to fast forward three hours until she saw the woman leave the house. She came back out and picked up her child from Sarah's property. The two got back into the car and headed off. What did all of this mean? Was Jason somehow involved? Sarah needed answers. Sarah rushed home, but not for the reason she thought she would. Instead of confronting her husband, she decided to get answers from her neighbor first. He would know more than anyone else involved. She banged on the door, and after a moment, a groggy-eyed man came out. What do you want, he said rudely, but he wasn't ready for her bombardment of questions. The woman that visited you today, what was she doing? She left her child on my porch, and I think maybe my husband is cheating, Sarah said, tears in her eyes. The man's eyes went wide after hearing her plea. Oh, her. She's not cheating on your husband. She's been seeing me for a few weeks. I had no idea she had a kid, though. 
She must have been hiding him from me on your porch, he said, as he scratched his head. Finally, the truth was out and Sarah could breathe easy. She walked home and told Jason everything. He seemed just as surprised as her. Clearly, he had never checked the driveway while he was home. No doubt he was working in the backyard or watching sport on the television. But Sarah knew that this would keep happening unless she did something about it. Sarah pulled out her phone. Jason noticed and said, what are you going to do in a concerned tone? She looked up at him and said, doing the right thing. We need this to end, Jason. He nodded his head in agreement. The couple couldn't take any more calls from neighbors or visits from child services. Sarah was going to come down hard on the woman that was neglecting her child. After a lengthy discussion, Sarah managed to pardon herself. The representative said that they would make the arrangements to have child services pay the right woman a visit. He assured Sarah that they would talk to the woman about leaving her child unattended. She snapped her phone shut and smiled, knowing that everything was finally over. She never got a phone call like that again.